Welcome to another adventure in engineering. Today I'm going to create a holder for a piece of round stock sitting upright. I'll use a piece of rectangular stock measuring 2.5 inches by one half inch with a bore uh, board hole round to sit the stock into and then I'll drill and tap a hole from the side to put a set screw to hold it in place. Started by creating a part and now we've got it in part design. I'm going to create a body and then a sketch. XY plane because that's what my CNC machine likes and let's get this going. Give it some dimensions. This one is not as critical. This is like a 12 inch long piece of stock so I'm just going to make it 40 because who cares as long as it's big enough for the hold uh, the hole to hold it this side matters because the stock is two point no uh, i think it's two inches maybe it's two inches so i'm just going to say 50 that's close enough because again i'm not cutting at the outer edges uh, next i'm going to create the hole that i need and that is going to be String diameter, it's going to be 17.8. Okay, and then I need to set the off the offset for the hole. It's gonna be 18 sounds good. And the same in the other direction. Okay, I have a fully constrained drawing now. Close that and then go and extrude it. And since I know my stock is a half inch, it's going to be 12.7 millimeters. Okie dokie. The part is now drawn. Next, I'm going to create the tool path. So open up the path workbench and Let's see here, we need to create a new job. Okay, and I don't want any excess around it because I'm just working with the main piece of stock, no cutting away out the outer edges. So, all zeros. Tool, which is an eighth inch end mill. Okay, and then so there's one more thing I need to do. Uh, I want to set the output type to Gerbil, and then I'll save it in. Well, I'll save it in an output file name later. Not critical at the moment. So okay, looking good. Now. We can add an operation, which in this case is going to be a helix. Put the end mill and looks like it chose the right uh, geometry there. My end mill doesn't want to go three millimeters down at a time, so I'm going to go zero point three. I don't really care if this takes a long time, as long as it's clean. Um, heights, uh, those don't matter. Um, inside, starting from the inside, you want it to bore from the inside out. If you start from the outside in, it cuts the outer hole, and then you've got this piece of stock floating around in here, and you'll break your bit. So <clears throat> that is what we want to do. And I believe that will do it. Yeah, okay. Now we can go and check it out. Let's check out the simulator. And we're drilling. And done. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Look at that. Okay. 
always hit cancel, otherwise it adds this uh, piece of stock thing and you get this ugly, ugly looking deal. Next thing is to output some G code. And let's see what we're gonna do here. Okay, it's in Blender, don't care, process, there we go. Post process. Okay, got a bunch of circles stepping down. Z keeps going till it gets to zero, blah, blah, and then it just repeats five times, I think. And that's looking good. Uh-oh, we have a problem. Once again, I forgot to set up the tool for the speeds and feeds. So let's go back and do that. Tools. Go. I find 300 is a good number for me for this eighth inch end mill. 100 for the depth. Spindle speed 12,000. And that should do it. Oh, let me go. Whatever. Okay. Let's see. Nothing else to do there. All right. Looking good now. I'll put it again. Yes, we're going to overwrite it. And here we go. Now we have a speed of 12,000. And that looks good. Now we're ready to do some cutting. I've got my stock piece set up in my holder right here. Uh, it's got a, a hole for setting it up in the y direction and then and this extra hole out here makes it so i can set it up in the x direction lining this way uh, first thing i want to do is to run a little script that i have that finds the corner edge so it's going to go down find the the top c value and then move over and find where the x and the y start I want to give thanks to Maker Hardware's website for giving me my starting point for my XYZ uh, Axis Macro. This web page, uh, they looks like they sell a probe. I just used my aluminum stock as my uh, probing point, but you can go here and download the macro and modify it for your own needs and maybe buy their touch probe if you like. So I have this set up so that my probe is making electrical contact with the stock piece and then the probe lead is connected to the bit. So we're going to run the script to find the XYZ corner. Okay, and now you can see it moved over to the corner, so it knows where that is now. All right, I'm going to run my script, or the uh, G-code, to bore the hole here for this uh, round stock piece. First, I want to turn on my air. That's critical to keeping the bit cool and clearing away chips. Let's go. Good and the edges are staying pretty sharp, so I'm going to go to fast mode.
finished. Move this thing out of the way. Well, that seems slightly small. Let's see. Nope, it's perfect. This is the piece that I want to hold up, and it goes right in. So now I'm going to drill a hole right here and use one of these bolts as a set screw to just hold that in place. All right, I marked the center of the hole at 18 millimeters on the side here and the center of the side of the stock piece. So then I'm going to go and take my drill bit and drill in right here, tap it for my set screw. I just love the way that spins out like that. All right, here's my completed part, a round hole and a square peg. So the set screw will hold this thing in place. I can take this thing, drop it in here, and then tighten it down so it won't go anywhere. And then I can do the mods that I want to on center of this cylindrical part. And that's it. That's the video for the day. Hope you enjoyed this and found something useful out of it. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more content. Thanks.